Main engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, anyone here watching now or later? Helene here along with... Lucky here. And welcome to Something Sunday, the 31st that we'll be doing of these. And uh, yeah, to explain for anyone new, this is where we try, where we give four games about half an hour each to see if they are any fun for streaming later, be it on the main you know, weekdays or just on a Saturday for side stuff. And yeah, the first game we're starting off is... <laughs> yeah, you can't really tell, except for on the title of the stream, of course, and I should have pointed the other way probably, or even down with that. Uh, but yeah, this is of Orcs and Men, and yeah, it, it's not often that you get a main menu screen without the title on it. I'm not even yeah, sure how old this game is. Wait, honest? The title is the picture. Oh, you have Orcs, or, and well, you have an Orc and Men. So, of Orc and Men? Yeah, uh, no, if that was the idea, then... Wait, stakes? Oh. Okay, so this is an... <laughs> okay, I I knew this game was not a strategy like I thought, but uh, I did not know this freaking goblin shows up in this, because this guy has his own two games. Do I... yeah, I'm not sure if they are before or after this. This is why I recognize it. This is the first game he appeared in. He was so popular, he got his own game after this one. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm guessing this all... That is a hard plus for it being on the two stream list then, because I am planning on streaming the Sticks games eventually. I've seen a little bit of them, but never finished them. Uh, well, I did not expect to see any of that, so let's go into the new game and see what sort of tutorial it has. Uh, let's go for medium. Apart from Sticks, nobody has ever seen a goblin speak or even show. Uh, or did it or even just show the slightest sign of intelligence. Huh. War. Not exactly a new concept. At first, it was really about the coming of an empire. All the human kingdoms on the Isserian continent united under a single crown and a single religion. And in both cases, I can tell you they weren't just playing around. But the end result was there. The Emperor Damocles made humans his sword. It was when His Majesty decided he wanted to extend his influence to the southern lands that sparks began to fly. Because, well, the peoples of the south are beast-like green creatures eight feet high, all muscle and nerves, with a natural-born talent for war. So your typical so, orc. Figures, they resisted. Despite besieging their villages, and even though the Imperial Army was far better organized, the damned orcs fought back with savage rage, and their victories were the kind remembered for ages. But Damocles wasn't just going to sit there and take it. Protecting their territory behind a giant wall, the Empire would never give up land, and its ruler wasn't planning on standing pat. With the construction of the wall, the scale of the war began to alarm the neighboring provinces. Faced with the green peril, the Empire saw the elves and the dwarves as potential allies. With their support, a quick victory over the Greenskins was a certainty, and peace could finally return to the Isserian continent. Afterwards, it just remained to be seen what kind of peace would await the vanquished. Over the decades of conflict, the Orcs were already beginning to figure it out. They were much sought after for their strength and toughness, and so, Grinding slavery was always going to be the result. Submit or die. Needless to say, for a goblin like me, things were going to be just as bad. We were there to be had like rats in a trap. Yeah, it's not easy being a greenskin on this fucking continent. You got my sympathy if that's your case. Okay, and into 3D. So yeah, the typical thing of uh, orcs meet men, men, uh, uh, and yeah, uh, fighting ensues. Hmm. 
Nice looking area. I'm guessing this is a bit of an orc outpost or something. See anything on patrol, butcher? No, nothing. No footprints. I climbed to the top of a hill to the northwest and saw the heath and their fucking wall to the north. It would make a good lookout point till nightfall. Excellent. The resistance found us a good place to camp to wait for what comes next. You, stand watch there. We'll change every three hours. Okay. Pretty big X scar on his chest there. Arkin wanted to see you, Butcher. He's probably somewhere around the falls. I'll go see him. Very good. Rest for an hour, then take a look around the eastern part. We'll have to stay on our toes now. Dissidents or not, it's tough to trust humans. Difficult to trust anybody. Understood. Okay, so there's an orc human alliance uh, resistance or something. There are some humans that don't feel like orcs should deserve this kind of uh, treatment. Yeah. Let's see, F1, open menu, click through different pages, directly with M and J, okay. I'm just going to switch over to here to, ins to ensure that OBS is on the front on my second screen. So I can actually see how the vol audio volume is doing. Okay. Typical WASD stuff, and uh, <laughs> I guess that's our first sign of magic. Yeah. I'm questioning how... This is a unique way of having a sword on your back. Yeah, typically you'd expect at least a scabbard or a... <clears throat> It's a uh, okay. rope ring to hang that it from. Yeah, you said you're having it upside down. This is a really deep gorge. to know why we were brought here something big it's just the worst of us in this one even the chief's gonna get his hands dirty jarhill really we're gonna kill the emperor or what ha, why not that wouldn't hurt us a bit okay yeah, it seems the audio is rather low here let me double check this uh, filters limiter Okay, I thought I'd put a compressor on that as well to ensure that the audio would be, well, <clears throat> about the same, uh, about the same <clears throat> level about every time. Uh, let me see. I'll just copy it over from a not different one here. Filters, compressor, and then copy. Pose and put that on here. I'm pretty sure I had this here before. Now let's see. Um, this would set it to a certain amount. We'll have to see how that goes. Now I'll have to double check yesterday's recording as well and to see if I've had anything to if that was low or not. Anyway, let's continue on. <laughs> Him or another Quars doesn't change much. We still have human allies, Arkai. It's not over yet. Apparently, in the time of his father, life was really different from one province on the continent to the next. And it doesn't matter how hard they try, they'll have a tough time finding worse than the Emperor who gave us the Inquisition, massacred our clans, and enslaved our brothers for decades. And the throne would be empty the whole time. We could enjoy that. Ha! Huh. Go back down to Earth. You don't send out a blood jar raiding party to go on parade. But there are limits, you know. 
With or without allies among the Quarsan, four of us ain't gonna pull off what our armies couldn't do when we were at our strongest. All of this reeks of a last stand, or a suicide mission. Hey, show some guts, Bloodjaw. Test one, two. Come on, defend yourself. It'll do you good. Oops. Combat test. I think it's actually getting louder than us now. Let's see. Press something to switch the tactics. Um, attack orders. Okay, so sort of like a turn based. See. Select the orders you want your character to execute. You can stack up to four orders in succession for each character you control. Okay. What button is it? It, it didn't show a button. Oh, space. I thought okay. Somehow, and he puts out from where the handle is. It looks a bit weirdly awkward. Can I point where I want to say, why not just put this sword in the belt? Let's remove this for now, then. For... Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just have to up the volume of this. And I'll have to test this some other time. Never mind, it's yeah. four minutes left. But, uh... There, that'll do for now, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Powerful blow. Faint. Number of blows to enemy parry plus 50. Enemy dodge minus 75. Okay, uh, let's go for... Yeah, let's just go full on the offensive. Okay, we are clearly losing this. Okay, it would have been... Okay, we... We healed up. Berserk. When Berserk are killed, inflicts a lot of damage but is uncontrollable until the rage gate is completely emptied. Blind with rage, the orc ignores defenses and may even attack his allies. So, okay, that. Yeah, typical Berserker stuff. Good for offense, but uh, you'll have to be very careful. Yeah. You fall back. Oh, am I? Shit, Arkai, relax. You get angry way too fast. You gotta learn to control that rage of yours, brother. Nobody wants to see you losing control, you know. You think nothing can stop you, but you lower your guard completely, not to mention the time it takes you to come back down after. I could have killed you several times over. No shit, I noticed. But each time I get hit, I'm back in Bay Harbor again, and I go mental. One more reason not to get hit, and not to keep trying with the technique that isn't working. I told you to defend yourself, and you went straight to the attack. Instead of going on the Good defensive point. while I'm talking to you as a friend, do it while you're fighting. You not only get hit less than when you're in an attacking stance, you also control your rage better, and that gives you the time to study your opponents. Come on, let's try again. Only this time, you parry my attacks in a defensive stance. Thanks, Arkin. I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do. But what I really need is some way to blow off steam on a fucking combat lesson. Hello. Help! Help me! I'm being followed. I have a message from Lord Barryman for the Blood Jaws. What's it about? And where'd you come from? Okay, the two with the hoods look at the identical. You have what you wanted, Berserker. They're all yours. I'll get this messenger somewhere safe. Safe from your murderous rage. Okay, take out mercenaries. It's okay. Select stands, scroll to the tactics menu wheels to access different stances available for your character. Each stance has specific bonuses and a range of specific skills. Select the appropriate stance for the situation. Okay. 
select the target. It's designated by the red circle. His companions by the blue circle. Select your target using the mouse key for the QE. Okay. Um, here we can go to <laughs> throw goblin. Defensive. Let's see. Quick attack, stunning punch. Let's try some of this. Yeah, of course these guys are going to be a lot more squishy than uh, yeah, another orc. I don't like how he's put on the sword. He goes around like he it, doesn't it's not in his camera at all. You know, I think he's actually his name to be in the back. I'm like in the style of the cat. Yeah, that sword animation the sword was bad. Thank you. You're the butcher, right? A real killing machine. I thought you were a legend. Shut it, human. Go see our chief in the tent. He was expecting you this evening. I know I'm not telling you anything new, Arkai, but be real careful with that. You've got to control your rage. It can't control you. Okay, shut the fuck up, all right? I'll catch up with you. <laughs> okay, at least he's straightforward. Yep, I like the voice acting. It's like the human minister down there. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's surprisingly subdued. Like, typically when you get acting, it gets a bit over... Yeah, over acting. Blood Jaws! Know that being here today is the greatest honor an orc can hope to receive. You are here for the most important mission in your life. And perhaps in the history of our people. So we are going to try and assassinate the Emperor. Too long, and our enemy is more powerful than ever. But Mother Earth has not abandoned us. We have allies. For a while now, we've been preparing our counterattack with their support. But events are speeding up, and fate has turned against them. We have to move fast now. It's time to put an end to the genocide that's been ravaging our people for decades. An end to this campaign of hate waged against us by the other peoples. My brothers, we must strike our enemy's head. Today, we are setting off to kill the Emperor. <laughs> okay, I was partly it will joking. Be a long and arduous journey. Each of you will receive specific instructions. Needless to say, these instructions, just as your entire mission, must remain entirely secret. You're in enemy territory. Trust no one. Ha! You said something about a suicide mission? It's worth a shot. Butcher! We'll start with you. Follow me! The rest of you wait outside. Right, Arkai. You go to the wall. A guide will be waiting for you near the east. And there he is. His name is Styx. He will guide you to the mire in the row of floors of the Inquisition's tower, where you will contact the resistance. Do nothing that might endanger them. They'll find you. Don't look for them openly or talk about your mission with anyone else. The mire is teeming with traitors. You have been warned. The Resistance will help you find High Mage Arkens, who's being held in the tower. The first part of your mission involves freeing her from the Inquisition. This is critical, Bloodjaw. Arkens will then help you reach the Island of Laments, your final destination, where your only task will be to kill the Emperor. At all costs. Questions? Okay, going to change the audio here again for a moment. Not that. There. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to look around a bit with this. Um, 
minus 80, minus 8. Yeah, the audio seems to be going up and down a lot. So it is mostly subdued. Hmm. That was the first time I've heard you say my name, Jarhill. What's up with you? That's true, Bloodjaw. It's a mission for the Butcher of Bay Harbor. But if I don't call you by your real name today, I doubt I ever will. So yeah, no, not really expecting to come back from this. Huh. You expecting me to fail? As long as one of us kills the Emperor, nobody will have failed. But yeah, you probably won't come back, Butcher. I probably won't come back either. But that still doesn't mean I expect you to disappoint me, or I wouldn't have chosen you. If you have to die at the wall, you will at least have drawn the attention of the humans, like moths, to the flame. So your brother Bloodjaws will be able to get through more easily. Got it. Fine. If I gotta die so you can get across, I'll do it. And the Quarson will see only me. No, Arkai. Your mission is the same as ours. You have to do whatever you can to reach and kill the Emperor. As far as getting their attention goes, don't worry about it. You'll do it anyway. I know you, Butcher. <laughs> yeah, lip syncing is. Uh... <laughs> so basically, I cross the wall, get to the mire where hopefully the resistance will contact me. Then I free this Arkent from the Inquisition, go off with her to the Island of Laments, and kill the Emperor. Everything's clear. Had easier jobs, but what the hell? <laughs> and you know things always get complicated when you're in the field, Bloodjaw. If you're ready, go now. You should be able to reach the wall during the night. Good luck. I'm ready. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing that each and every one of our, each, all of the members of this cell are basically going in different paths to the same destination. I'm guessing, or at least supporting each other indirectly. Possibly. Yeah, this game is rough. Um, the Butcher of Bay Harbor. Bunch of assholes. They made sure they didn't tell me who I was dealing with. They just gave me a name. Archive. As if they'd even used it since that fucking battle. No point in wondering what the world would be like today if I'd had any freaking clue what was going on. I would have said no. First thing, no fucking way. But to be honest, I already knew it wasn't going to be a walk in the park. The blood jaws never screw around. Cold as death and twice as savage. Fucking terrifying. But I was blinded by the smell of money, okay? I was going to be really well paid just to play the guide and get the killing machine to the other side of the wall. And if everything went well, as a bonus, piles of those pale guys were going to get killed. No kidding. Who could turn down a sweet deal like that? So let's see, the first goblins burst forth just as over a century ago without anyone really understanding how or why. This wall stuff has me thinking about Guild Wars. I can see that. Yeah, not too different of a situation with the char. Though, well, that in <laughs> in Guild Wars it wasn't really much of a victory on the human side. Well, and there he is. Than I thought. 
Inquisition is around. The doors are closed and there's a curfew. They're not letting anything or anybody through. It's a real mess. Why the hell did they give me a rock ash as a guide? Vermin, huh? Maybe because whatever you think, I'm still the best. Okay. I want to know more before I follow you, Rakesh. What can I say? You can't just walk up to the wall, knock on the door and say, Good morning, <laughs> I'm here to assassinate the Emperor, and expect him to open up. You gotta take other paths. And that's where I come in. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this. I'm, <laughs> I can see why people like steaks. You still don't get it. I want to know more about you. Me? Uh, well... Listen, Rakash. I never saw a goblin that could talk, let alone be a guide. <sighs> Look, you're right. The other goblins are idiots. But I'm a survivor. Actually, I'm so old I could be your grandfather. My grandfather? You watch your mouth, asshole. My grandfather was an honorable warrior, not some... Okay, okay, no offense. It's just an expression. What I mean is I'm a lot older than the others. A hell of a lot older. I've survived. And to survive, you've got to be smart. Is that a good enough explanation for you? Can we go now? How old are you then? All right. I don't like it, but I don't really have a choice. You go first. One wrong move, and I'll rip your head off and shit in the hole. <laughs> okay, Duke Nukem. I guess he's about 50 or 60 years old. We'll probably learn in one of the games at least. See? I wasn't bullshitting. They even closed up here. Wait for me. There's a passage just over there. I'll go and open the door. Okay, now we'll get to the other half of the gameplay, I'm presuming, which will be more stealth. Sticks can make his way through cramped space and reach areas Arkale can't. <laughs> and for his example, they show Arkale looking dumbly and blocked by a, sing a si by a beam he could probably just pull out. But even then, he'd have to move sideways to get through here. <laughs> That was simple enough. <laughs> Why even put a door in if you leave an opening in the wall? Hmm. Actually, I have, an, I have an idea why the audio might be so low. Uh, move the voice meter. Yeah, the audio is on, on my end just fine. Let's see. It could be taken from the the voice meter output. And because it's streaming the game directly to you, but before it gets to OBS, it's run through uh, the voice meter program, which I set to well a lot lower since well with the with the other earbuds, the ones we're leaving aside, those take those don't have audio control of their own. So yeah, I'd have to lower the volume to. <clears throat> Well, not deppen myself. Let's see. You can select the character you want to control at any time using tab. Okay. I'm guessing that means that we're going to face combat here. Do you think a wall like that would have a lot better security? Okay, who's that? Here, I'm guessing he's from the Inquisition. You call that patrolling, scumbags? Get those feet moving. I want to hear the sound of your boots, or there won't just be wood on the fire the next time you take ten. Harsh, but a. Uh... Yeah, you kind of need people to be moving around to actually do their damn job. And okay, that wasn't the actual wall. What? Because of those four runs? 
Look, if we start beating everyone up, we'll never get out of here. Especially seeing as how they just got told off. If we get involved in that, the entire place will be all over our asses. You're scared. Yeah, I'm shaking like a leaf. Seriously, what did I tell you before? You gotta be discreet, like subtle. You can't just go wading in like a pig that sees a pile of shit. <laughs> we should was fully expecting to charge in. We can go down that alleyway over there. Because there's no militia over there? There'll be a lot less of them. We should be able to handle them my way. Quietly. Okay, we are at 30 minutes, but let's give this one 10 more because of the audio. And I am interested. Yeah, what? I recall people did like it. And yeah, he did get his own games, after all. Yeah, there we go. Shifts for stealth. We saw that in the guide earlier. Let's see. That guy isn't facing us. But yeah, a mix of brutal combat and stealth. We go. Oh, he would see, so we go around. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely curious. It it looks like, as the first draft, this game is probably going to be a bit rough, but we've done rough games before. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how long this might take. And... Hmm. If the combat doesn't get too difficult, it might actually be... It doesn't... It, oh. Can't just leave the big guy on his own. I should go get him. Okay, so yeah, of course he doesn't follow us when we're stealth. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, unlike, uh, well, shit. I don't think I can do this on my Skyrim own. AI. You wanted militia? You got militia. Whatever. Enough talk. Let's get this over. Try not to shout too loud, and we'll be fine. I don't need to shout to take out those damn. Damn military what? Equals military template it just comes with it without proper military training. Uh, let's see. Militia should be just easy enough to kill like this. Yep, and sticks automatically goes as well. Uh, let's see, can we specific yeah we can target this one? Uh sticks. Uh, yeah, you just keep at it with that one. Okay. Yeah, depending on how things will go later in this game, it might be easier for us to well, play, put this game on easy when we do stream it. Let's see, rent Wait, level. What did, you, did you use? Hmm? It's now on what? medium. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, it, it'll start off easy here, but it could get uh, pretty annoying later on if it... Oh, games always, or typically, when if they're well made, have a difficulty curve. And let's see. We, I don't think strength will really work with a golem here. So let's up his agility. And that... Arkale, there. Confirm changes, yes. Uh, let's put up your stamina, since you're going to be a meat shield for a good part. <laughs> uh, any skills? Let's see. Level required six. Okay, so we can't get any skills at the moment. Can we upgrade anything? No, we can't. Not there. Not there either. Okay, yeah, this game is a lot more old school ish RPG as well with this. Hmm. And I hope the game is coming over louder. Okay. I can't move the camera like this for some reason. Okay. Um, yeah, just go for normal attacks. Sticks. Let's see. 
let's actually see if we can put that in there. See just what, how, just how that looks to get the fastball special here. <laughs> okay. Okay, better get defensive now, though. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Yeah. Nope. Okay, yeah. We raise ally. The friend is down. Press. It's a raise ally. Okay. Yeah, we. I guess we will be playing this game on easy then, no matter what. <laughs> if you get overwhelmed that easily. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see. Okay, Arkale. Yeah, let's let's just see if we can get past this. And we just do the defensive strikes. And you throw knife. Extra throw. Yeah, let's... Insufficient concentration, low blow... Okay, let's keep you at distance. And whilst Arkale is being defensive... Okay. Oh, he has ranged instead of defensive. Okay. Uh, not on that guy. Oh, oh, this you just killed this one. Okay, um... Armor piercing. They have some armor, so let's go with that. Not enough concentration. Arkhail, you keep up the defense. Okay, that went a lot better. It does seem that I have to keep... A Once a target is killed, all of the other orders you've set out will... Uh, yeah, be undone. Okay, now this guy is distracted with sticks, so finish him off. There we go. Alright. Yeah, still probably will be playing this on easy when we do get to streaming it. Since we already have a set roster for, well, the coming time. But that's what the Something Sunday is all about. Just to try out and get stuff on the list. All out the orc with them's called Sork. He's about as straight as a pubic hair and loves kissing his boss's ass. Damn traitor. I'll tear him to pieces. You'll get more than you can handle if you start that. Anyway, no point raising a sweat over him. Just slip his boss a present, and he'll leave us alone, like a good little dog. But... Can you pretend to be a slave? He's just not going to like that. to kiss ass in front of a Corson, Or even worse, in front of a Rakash? Look, I know you don't like the idea. But if it means staying out of the fight... All right, forget it. I'll make as if you're my bodyguard. But keep your mouth shut. Whatever happens. You got that? Okay. Uh, got it. So, Sticks. Got a new boyfriend? <laughs> From the size of him, you gotta be feeling a little sore, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why I'm walking funny. <laughs> and you're so in love you forgot about the curfew, right? Listen, I had a few troubles lately, which is why I got muscled here. And I'm outside right now. So, can't you just say you never saw me? You know, things have changed, son. The Inquisitors are really interested in guys like you. Give me a reason not to call. How about because you got something on the books with Sarkis that I could take care of? Wow. 
Well, if you put it that way, works for me. Didn't see you. Come on, boys, let's move on. Wait, what? Yeah, I think he basically just blackmailed him, sort of. Rackash bodyguard. Never heard of anybody so pathetic he'd take that kind of contract. You're either really desperate or a serious piece of shit. Oh, so we can have Arkale or Sticks. Okay. Yeah, some of these are probably going to lead to a fight one way or the other. You know, your dog there isn't exactly well trained. Thinks he owns the place. Why would you let scum like that fuck up your business? Me didn't say nothing. That's what dogs are like, and you should know. When they meet another one, they gotta sniff each other's butts and growl. This will whack them on and they'll learn their place. Seeing as you feel like growling, you can stand guard here while we go somewhere warm. You'll pay for this, you son of a bitch! I'll get you someday! Oh shit, what the... Oh shit, shit! I can't believe it! Help! Fuck! A bloodshot! Help! So this was going to lead to a fight one way or the other. Or at least there's less of them now. Okay, strategic menu and... You, let's see. 11 attack, 20 defense, I'm presuming here. And what about this guy? I, I like that it's actually slowed down and not fully stopped. Uh, yeah. I sticks. Uh, let's just run away with you for a moment. So we can freely roam around and we can, well, distract this guy <laughs> while Arkale deals with him. At least until now. And yeah, just overwhelm this guy. There we go. Forgot about that freaking tattoo. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing those tattoos are how they identify clans and such. And yeah, you probably should have covered that up. Uh, yeah, I expected it, uh, and um, just uh, expect to meet someone that recognized the tattoo. But we are at time now, so yeah, I'm this game. If it is the first in the stick series, then I'll say it is a hard. Then it, it's an almost certain yes. I'll just have to look up a bit more about it. But other than that, let's move on to the second game, yeah. which is the one I said you probably recognize. Oh, and I'll probably need the controller for this. Well, it was this one I meant, but all right. Uh... No, I said the second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, come on, le release my mouse. There we go. Send it to you. Go live on Discord. And all tabbing causes this game to get a bit glitchy, or it. Okay, I'll have to. Yeah. yeah, welcome to Okami. Oh, 
Okami HD. <laughs> yeah, this game was originally on the Wii. But yeah, eventually you knew they would. Uh, it's still selected in Discord for some reason. Like I've only seen a little bit of it once, and this one of these things I heard people be love about, but I did not care for it at all. There we go, full screen. Exit. It's a, it's a bit difficult to get into because it used the motion controls, and it, they weren't the best, I'd say. And okay, oh, that's switched it back to windowed mode because I had to put OBS on front again. Now, for some reason, when you alt-tap this, it goes into window, but it doesn't... It moves it to the sides as, and down as well, for some reason. Okay. So now it should stick. Does it actually even react to my controller? Let's see. Vibration, sensitivity... Keyboard configuration... Dig, space, F... WSD, shift to run, I presume. For a moment, I actually thought the game was called uh, Akami for some reason. Okay, let's get to the game. And yeah, I, I fully expected to need the controller to play this. And yeah, let's start with this. Loading screen. Story Hidi. Oh. <laughs> it's the, pre where, the one who wrote the story, I'm presuming. Let's see. Will it respond to the controller now? Nope. So, keyboard it is. I have seen someone play through this game completely, Sugar Conroy to be precise, but I've forgotten a lot. So they don't get to pick the sacrifice. Yeah. 
I wouldn't really call it a battle if he couldn't do a single thing against it. Okay, something I only now just noticed, the, uh, the shadows move a tiny little bit to give some movement to it. This is all pretty as all hell, so that's why I'm not uh, ruining in it when I voice except for now. Oh, <laughs> 
But we all know good things must come to an end. Shit. Lesson of the story, if you find a so fancy sword stuck in the ground, leave it be! Good spread sake, yeah. Okami Amaratsu. <laughs> yep. 
Yep. In the Japanese mythology, I believe that Amaterasu is, yeah, she is the sun god from which all you know, elves spawned, I believe. But I'm no expert, well, of course. Or more of a, it's just the sun god at the birth of Japan itself. Okay. So it's not like the whole world, just Japan. Yeah. And yeah, we're, we're already over a, a fifth, we're already 20 minutes in and it's still a cutscene. <laughs> Nippon, I believe that that is uh, how you say well, Japan in Japanese, I think. It's given the old name for Japan. No, come on. The little thing says <laughs> the smallest thing in the <laughs> within five meters, probably fifty. Uh, and jumping bean <laughs> is soon. <laughs> okay, that that is well drawn. <laughs> what the fuck did he pull out a scroll five times his size? Actually choked laughing there for a second.
Okay, and uh, now we're finally getting to something. 25 minutes yeah. in. 45? And. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not 45, 25. Alright. It looks impressive, but don't let you into the 25 minutes of cutscene. See to change point of view. Okay, the side, it's reversed. Okay, let's fix that in a mo second. Right. Uh, control the setting. I noticed something odd with Sakuya. Hmm, what then? But I like the design and all that, but I noticed quickly that seems to have a hole shaped hole on her rear. Yeah. I was not only one rear uh, noticing that. Hmm. Yeah, she's supposed to be uh, the spirit of a peach tree, and well, peaches oh. have a certain shape to them. Oh, come on. Well, Nintendo, I'll try to be fair with them as possible, but they do. I know they do sometimes even uh, have a joke that the uh, old adult would notice, but that one. Hmm. Yeah, that one was a bit. Uh, um, really? <laughs> They dare to sneak that in. Yeah, things in with uh, Japanese stuff tends to be a lot more... Well, mature would be the word, I'm guessing. And yeah, this control is much, much better. Anything, uh, do I even need to add anything here? <laughs> and there goes the port wall. Though it is very good advice. <laughs> but yeah, these are our safe stations. And yeah. We'll probably call it in a bit here. Uh, yeah, I, this game is a, as good as certain to be streamed eventually because it is just a... It's a gem of a game. And for a lot of people, they've never heard of it or never seen of it. And well, it, it just deserves more... It deserves to be known more. Wait, Even wait, though we're, wait. for a good start part, we'll probably be a <laughs> silent on this. Anyway. Wait, I'm confused. Hmm? Is it no one ever heard of it? No, not that, but not many. Or too. It, this game deserves to be known a lot more than it uh, generally is, to my knowledge oh, no. at least. From my experience, every damn Swede knows of it. At least of my generation. And younger knows of the game. But many could not stop talking about it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think you mean why I'm so confused over your words. Well, uh, I actually don't know anyone else who might know this, or at least anyone I'm close to who would know. Then again, I seem to be the only gamer in my entire damn family tree. Yeah, Except for one, maybe. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. But... Both. Both naughty and north, not north if my lot. Most of the non naughty ones. Well, yeah. I've s this is one of those games that even though I've seen someone play it through, 
I want to play it myself sometime as yeah, someday as well. And well, we'll get to do that on stream eventually. Yeah. Well, then, uh, it was useful. Even YouTube was people being very famous. Then you have many YouTubers that have played it. Have like what? Two critics for the game so far. Yeah, and it seems it seems to be running perfectly. I'm actually the uh, missed frame so far on the stream is only 31 out of uh, 35,000. <laughs> so yeah, it's counted as a zero percent. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> easy amateur as well. Yeah, perfect. is way too long. Yeah. Uh, the voices are annoying after a while. Okay, so maybe I should just voice stuff myself then, see if that's less annoying. I think it's um, later on, just having all that in the intro for 22 or 20 minutes straight, he's gonna make that voice line very annoying. I think they're just finding short bursts, but 23 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's move on to the next game. Yeah, it cannot be to be we only showed off the damn intro here. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll do things a bit shorter with this one. When we get the heck. Okay. This is not what I thought it was. Okay, close that off. I, I thought I closed off my browser, but apparently not. And let me just keep a check here. Uh, come on, give me the, not the chat box. Give me the voice. Okay, that is being a bit loud. Now let's see if I drop that. Okay, that doesn't actually affect the volume of uh, what the stream is getting. So I can just lower that separately. Okay, OBS up top again. And I I was pretty sure that this game was captured by OBS normally. Or, oh, I, I know what's going on already. I switched the game capture to capture specific windows. So go to full screen application. And now it should start capturing it. Five, four, six. I'm pretty sure it captured it when I tested There we go. When I tested it yesterday. And yeah, this is the Oregon Trail, the director's cut, which I believe started out as a, on, as a parody of the... Uh, uh, I forget the original name, the o Oregon Oregon Trail. Trail. Yeah, Oregon Trail. Yeah, th this is basically that, but with zombies. Yeah, when you wrote this name, you got it earlier to me, I misread... He's ready to Oregon Trail. Okay, that's extremely old game. Okay. Uh, no, no, it was a parody of it. What? Let's it's see. normal. Co-op mode. mode. A second controller can be used for drop-in uh, uh, co-op during most combat scenarios after your party joins you. You can find more information. Okay. Uh, that sounds only local. And uh, let's see. The dudes. The lady. Okay, let's go with this guy. I've seen this game played a good amount of times. So let's see. Click on the enemies and draw a line toward yourself. Okay, so it's uh, in yeah inverse aiming sort of. Let's see there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a lot. And out of ammo. And hello there. <laughs> okay, quite a quick shot. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clements. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? Let's go with... Did I hit caps lock? Yes, I did. Let's go with Hill. Place is on mine, Hill. Uh, listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. 
Do you know anyone we could encounter in a pinch? Okay. Oh, come on! I'm not sure if I told you this, but uh, two days ago, or I did tell you about this, the cat that we saved uh, with the matted fur. Oh, all right. Let's see, there's a good chance if they're still alive, they uh, will be at the shelter. De the shelter set up in DC. Uh, if they have any sense to this, we're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. Every really SD or arrows. Okay. From it has been a of, long. From what the cat was it uh, maybe in that shelter? Now it's uh, still in the neighborhood because it returned yesterday uh, to come for foods. No. Though uh, Oscar scared it off. Let's see. All right. I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. It has been a long ass time since I played this game. Let's click anywhere to continue. Clemens has a broken arm. Okay, click again to continue. It yeah, loses this game. <laughs> Clemens has dysentery. Clemens was bitten by a zombie. And we're out of fuel. Yeah, this is set to happen because this is the prologue as tutorial. Washington, D.C. As the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., the government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Yeah, this game is bleak, even though it is it's a parody to a certain degree. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you, th uh, what you think we may need on the trip. And yeah, we don't actually go out for this. We just uh, yeah select what we want. The journal then. Fuel. You can travel for four hours on a tank of gas. Yeah, I find that you, that you want to have at least eight tanks with you at any time, given time, so you can make it to your next destination. And even then, so these suckers seem to get lost or stolen all the time. So we want at least eight fuel. Each of these. Oh. Let's, let's go double, just to be certain. And each of these gives eight, and costs us one hour to find. Medkits, sometimes you just need a good old-fashioned medkit. They are always seem to perk someone up when they are feeling down. I've seen a guy with a broken arm say he felt at least 30% better after I patched him up with one of these bad boys. It was a good idea to have a handful of these around for emergencies. Okay, let's go with five then. Money, although most traders on the road don't find much value in paper money, there are still little pockets of civilization who cling to the old ways. I keep a few hundred on me at any time so I can buy what I need when times get rough. But those merchants really have a funny sense of value for the end times. You should be able to find money while scouting. Mm, let's go low with that for now. If I remember correctly, the farther into this game you get, the more expensive stuff come, becomes. Right. Scrap. You will need to scavenge for scrap if your car breaks down. You can make you, you can make some general repairs to your vehicle with all the scrap lying around. The more you have, the better chance it will stick. I usually just get repairs at the auto shops myself. It's pricey, but I'm no good with my hands. Okay. Food. Scavenging is the easiest way to get food other than the, not all the zombies. Depending on the number of people in your group and how you ration your food, you will burn through your food at a rate of 1 to 3 ounces per person per hour. That means you should be eating an average of 
that you would be eating an average of 240 ounces a day in a group of five. Okay. Ammo. The world has gone to shit. It's a great thing that America loves it gun because I can't ever seem to kill enough of these zombie bastards. You'd be surprised how quickly you burn through them. I've easily gone through a few dozen rounds just scavenging for food. And if you ever find yourself surrounded, you'd be better. You'd better be packing. Car parts. It's always good to have some spare car parts on you. You don't want to break down in the middle of nowhere and stand around waiting for someone who wants to trade whatever you've got for what you need. I always carry a few extra batteries, tires, and mufflers on me. Don't leave home without them. Okay, so let's get two batteries, some 500 foods, two extra tires, an extra muffler, and 200 rounds of ammo. There's probably people who have played this game for years and years who would say that this start would probably suck, but oh well. And I've forgotten to note when we started with this. I think it was about 15 minutes past the hour on the stream. My friends joined the party. Click. Great, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back down the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well. And I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're going to have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. Mm, yeah. You don't get to the aiming line here. He'll put down Clemens. But there's a tweet option now. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't use Twitter. And now the game starts. 276 miles to Pittsburgh. Yeah, I don't use Twitter either. I have looked some, on Twitter sometime, but I'm not gonna make a Twitter account. Okay, the car stopped there for a second. Matt walks off to take a piss and comes back with a bite wound, dumbass. Yeah, okay. yeah the car will occasionally stop, it seems. Yeah. And where health will go down. And the chance for special events to happen. And there's Pittsburgh. The room is one fuel off a valley at the side of the road. Now, a lot of things with this game is just randomization. The military blockades impede your progress for an hour. You took a wrong turn. Come on, get moved. Wait an hour while Oscar vomits in the bushes. And now we're going really slow for some reason. Okay, Pittsburgh. And yeah, at each of these outposts we can buy some stuff. Uh, like I said, this the price of these generally goes up in this kind of game the further you get along. You can also sell stuff, like but I don't think we really want to do that. So jobs. Bandits, they're a group of hostile folk who have holed up in a nearby building. I think they are they mean to take over. <laughs> Difficulty suicide, yeah no. Not for twelve dollars. Yeah, there are a triple, couple of troublemakers who have been stealing from us, disposing of them difficulty normal for ten dollars. Let's give that a try. And they hand you 20 ammo before you head out. Okay. Shoot out instruction. Pull back to aim, release to shoot, you are vulnerable while aiming, and so is the enemy. Okay. Uh, rifle, pistol... Let's go for accuracy with this. Okay. Miss. Now, uh, the dog. There. Up, miss. Yep, come on. Oop. Yep. <laughs> that room whizzed completely by. Is way too quick. 
quick with ducking. And I'm way too sucky with shooting, you know, with aiming. Yep. <laughs> that was a lucky shot. Yeah, this guy ducks down too quickly. Broken. There we go. Now I had to shoot before he'd come up. Okay, no injuries. Ten dollars, but a a good amount of bullets spent. And yeah, we are not going for that. So get our auto shop repairs, tires, mufflers. We only have sixty dollars. Let's see, party. Yeah, Matt is going to turn into a zombie sooner or later. The car is doing decently. Upgrades. You can find upgrades to the car in city auto shops and infrequently while traveling on the road. Okay. Road map. Oh, okay, a lot, with, a lot got nuked. And the, the area behind us is probably going to get nuked as well. Next lap. Okay. Use scrap to repair the station wagon. The more you use, the less risky the repair. How much scrap would you like to use? You only have paid, so let's leave it be for now. Set pace. Let's go for a normal pace. The pace you travel will affect your car. Take it slow and steady at 30 miles per hour. Move with a little urgency at 45 miles. Push the car to its limits at 60 miles per hour. Okay. I think it also affects the amount the chance of something random triggering, but I don't know. And that doesn't seem to be a, sp a special on sale, so let's just leave. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently massive in size and appears to be agitated. That's bad. Wait to see if the horde disperses, break out guns and clear a path, attempt to sneak through, hire mercenaries to escort you, get information about your choices. You can attempt to sneak through the horde. If the zombies aren't very aggressive looking, you might be able to slowly drive through them without drawing their attention. Also fight your way through, you will attempt to drive through the horde at top speed, firing from the windows as you go. A large and angry horde may still be able to overwhelm the vehicle. And yeah, they are large and angry, so that's a note. If there are mercenaries nearby, they might be willing to protect you for a nominal fee as you pass through the wars. That's going to be a price, so let's just wait to see if anything happens. It is still there. This is healing them, though. Oh! Okay, they, there's less of them, but they are more aggressive. Still the same. Okay, they calm down. Uh, calm down a bit more, I think. Let's go a bit. Okay, they send out, but they got more agitated. Okay, they calmed. Yeah, this is a lot of waiting here. Yeah, I can't see this not going well on the streaming or on YouTube, really. Okay, small but agitated, so let's try and shoot out. Th this... Uh, this game would not be for a full store mid for a main week stream, because there is a lot of s randomization. So this would probably be for the occasional uh, si Saturday sideshow. Station wagon got took some damage. We'll probably want to repair those. Some 16 ammo in an abandoned car. Nice. It's zombie activity low. <laughs> if uh, Drakir sits too hard on six dollars and ruins it, how can you sit on guys that hard to ruin it? Uh, well, you see, I got nothing. I think the game calls you fat. 
Come see on. the remains of another party before you. Would you like to stop and look? Let's take a look. This could be an amber. He has lies that one girl also hit by bus. Okay. What? Discover 24 ammo. Yeah, I think... I think if you die... I think there is a sort of multiplayer thing with those graves that if your party dies somewhere, uh, it'll leave a, a gravestone that other people can run across. Uh, can come across. Not <laughs> We wouldn't want to run over a grave. And just find some loot. Question the edibility of some of your food, you toss it to be safe. And here's them all. Left to die. <laughs> okay. Let's see, not many people here, it seems. Prices have gone... The, the medkit has gotten $10 <laughs> more expensive. Any jobs? Dangerous and normal. One of these pays a muffler. I'm having trouble sleeping. I keep seeing movement outside. Come protect me. It's a defense mission. And you 20 ammo before you head out. And this should be... Defense instructions. Pull back to aim, release to shoot. Don't... Yeah, this is the same as the start. Let's go with the rifle again then. And... Miss. A miss and a hit at the same time. I was not expecting that one to hit. There. These are some slow Good. bullets. Now, all of this is in the style of those old Atari games, and they didn't have the processing stuff to uh, have things go too fast. There we go. And that was our first encounter with a crawler zombie. It's of a much smaller hitbox. Okay. What's the party doing? Matt is actually healing up, but he is still bitten, so he will eventually turn. Talk to stranger. Be warned, stranger. Don't dig a water hole. Drink only river water. Salty as the river is, it's better than an infection. We buried my husband last week. Could use some help with this grave for my kids. If you can spare the time. I used to question the usefulness of having extra mufflers on hand, but without a muffler, the noise seems to immediately attract large hordes in your direction. You may not think that would be a problem in a car, till we have to stop and piss. Okay, so you can get some uh, hints and uh, stories through this. You encounter no one. Okay. We're doing decently on our things, as far as I can tell. So medium zombie activity, how would, medium rationing. The amount of food the people in your party consume each day will affect their health. Small and medium and large portions consume. Okay, let's go with small, because they, they are all generally healthy. Combat training. You can learn new combat techniques for scavenging in small towns at a combat trainer. But there's no trainers here, okay. And yeah, let's head out then. 170 Indianapolis. You're unsure which way to go, you lose an hour bickering with <laughs> <laughs> yes. I really should keep a, a stopwatch or something to keep time with these better, but I think we we just hit 25 minutes with this. It went by pretty fast. It took you as this and Perry. Wait, wait, what does that mean? I think uh, it's basically diarrhea. Oh. Uh. Indianapolis. There's a lot of people here. Let's see any jobs. Recovery. A crate fell out of the back of our uh, car on the way to town. Can you find it? Dang. Let's not do that. Let's have a check here. Uh, yeah, you'll start losing health with this. Oh, there we go. Amanda's real anxious. Anxious 
to take a hot shower again. Zombies seem to get more active at night. We usually sleep for about six hours at night to make sure we don't get attacked on the road. Driving around makes a lot of noise and attracts their attention. Okay, so it's safer to go around during the day. A lot of game, a lot of zombie games have that. Am I still low for anything health while you flick the screens? Let's see. It doesn't seem to change here, but we will probably have to. Uh, be careful at least and oh we can oh we can go scavenging it at any time okay let's go with the rifle again we have some stuff here I think uh, can we not move uh, these are quite a bit faster than earlier uh, how do I get out <laughs> How do I get out? Yeah, seriously, how do I get out of here? I can go off screen, but... Okay, uh... So we, we just move off screen enough, I'm guessing, or is it timed? Well, we found no food, but we got a bunch of cash, actually. Let's see. Special the tires. Let's let's run some repairs. Cost us most of our money, but oh well. Upgrade. Never break tires. Tires never need replacing. Well, we probably should have checked for that more. Let's see. Can we get 30 bucks somewhere? Is that here? Could try selling some things, but yeah. Hmm. Let's try this job. Yeah, could be a one before we switch game. Reach the goal at the end to win. Hmm. Let's go with the shotgun. If we're going to get swarmed, we want to be able to deal with them in groups. So for now, it's probably better to just run. Oh, there's one <laughs> coming right out of the grave. Okay. Probably better to just dodge in general with this. And to try and fight everything. Oh yeah, that takes a bit to reload. Okay, but we got the stuff. So we also get paid. Alright. Uh, sell... Let's sell one of our med kits. Probably a dumb idea, but... Yeah, never having to... Actually, we, we could sell the... We could have sold the tires. We buy that. And then we sell... No, we can't sell... Auto shop. Okay, we can sell tires. Okay. Hmm. Yes, you need to own your own car. Just they are an upgrade. Let's see, car upgrades. Yeah, it's it's put on automatically. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's not the way you can sell for. Well, you don't have any extra pairs to sell. Okay, let's let's go. To the next area and then we'll move on to the next you know, to the last game so we don't take too long with this oh, zombie activity deadly you're out of water and you can't find any nearby everyone's dehydrated okay that's going to be that's going to be a lot oscar has a broken arm okay uh stop Uh, yeah, let's use up some medkits. You can apply medkits to wounded party mem members to restore health. Using a medkit would no not cure bitten members of their infection. Therefore, okay. Let's give one to Oscar and one to you. Uh, is there anyone here? 
Once someone in your party becomes incapacitated, they aren't dead yet. You can use a medkit to bring them back from the bank of death. Okay. Uh, let's switch this to medium rationing. And move on. You see the remains of another party. Yes? Captain Tapopai? Okay. Oh! I'd forgotten that that was also a possibility. Yeah, you can randomly get attacked like that. What the heck? Matt throws three dollars at a zombie. The tier no longer has dysentery. Yay! Just in time for the farmlands. But yeah, that's uh, that's the Oregon Trail. Uh, yeah, and like I said, definitely not for main week streaming, but could be uh, for fun on the on the weekend uh, from time to time. Possibly, I'm I'm very neutral to it at the moment. Okay, so let's move out. The, the men who wear many hats. <laughs> Friend crossbones on the audio. Okay. And let's move on to the last game that we'll be showing today. I'll wait for it to finish up. Stream to the tier. We really should look into a safe screen sharing program. I can look all the familiar. And is the game is OBS going to capture it? It's it captured it. There we go. Altar Interactive. I had not actually waited for that to finish forming before. I didn't know it was a, a fictional Viking helmet. Maintaining and developing original war since 2005. Original war support. Well, that's an original name. Cave paintings of cars? I mean, the future or for in the past? Oh, the original war. Who controls the past controls the future. So we're going to have time travel bullshittery with this. Oh, no. Yeah, I know pretty much nothing about this game, except for that it's a, a real-time strategy. And we have an American and a Russian campaign. Okay. Let's have a look here. And we're going to do the Kingman, it was obvious we came and fight the aliens. But this, 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 this is not it. Let's see, the boxes in this window represent the missions you have completed. Click one of them, or, and an empty one will appear underneath. A new mission. Okay. Let's go with the low difficulty. And start. When they told me about the mission, I thought they were crazy. We've all heard stories about time travel. But here were these guys, scientists and top brass, telling me we could do it for real. But they weren't crazy. They had seen Eon. Eon was discovered here, in the wastelands of Siberia during the First World War. Luckily, the guy who found it was one of ours, U.S. Major John Peters. He got it shipped back home where it was classified top secret and taken to Area 51. Our scientists had little problem working out how to start it up, and they found that objects placed inside it simply disappeared. After experiments with radioactive isotopes, the scientists finally uncovered the machine's purpose. The Eon is a time machine. The implications are incredible. In Eon, we have the potential to erase every tragedy from our history. But though we knew what the machine could do, we were unable to use it. The fuel in Eon was never analyzed, 
that was used up in the experiments. More didn't exist. Until now. Until we discovered cyberite. This compound contains elements that have never been seen before. When it was first discovered in Siberia, the geologists feared it was radioactive because it felt warm to the touch. Gingerly, they passed the Geiger counter over it, but they didn't even hear it crackle. Back at the lab, they immersed a small piece of it in a beaker of cold water. The water boiled so furiously, it almost exploded, shattering the beaker. The cyberite fragment sat in the middle of the debris unchanged, unaffected. In the presence of cyberite, the hydrogen atoms had fused to form helium and released incredible energy in the process. In our hands, we have the catalyst for cold fusion and more power than mankind will ever need. There's only one problem. Reserves are buried deep in the ground in Siberia, Russia. That's when I was assigned the Mission Globe Mine. Our first task was to extract enough cyberite to power the Eon for several journeys. Our second task was a little more complicated. The Earth looked pretty different then. The journey from Siberia to Alaska could be made by land. And that would be our task, to mine the incredible reserves of cyberite and transport them to Alaska. It'll take the rest of our lives. But when this day comes around again, the cyberite will belong to America. Departure commences any moment. <laughs> There are 20 soldiers ahead of me, but that doesn't mean they'll be arriving first. The Eon produces a scattering effect, so we may end up miles apart and divided by several years. The only thing worth knowing about the Eon is that it's a one-way ticket. That's why they chose someone like me, loyal to the job and my country, with no living relatives, nothing, and no one that can't be left behind. Then, Last night, I met her, Sergeant Joan Ferguson. She's on the support crew here and won't be coming with us. I feel as if I've known her all my life. Just my luck. I finally meet the right woman, and it's two million years too late. It's too late to turn back now. I'm entering the Eon. My life in this time is about to end, and a new one will begin a long, long time ago. Okay, so <clears throat> they got their hands on some of that stuff and now they're using that to send people back in time so they can secure more of it. But if they get all of it, including the stuff that they found before, wouldn't that cause a bit of a grandfather paradox? Because if they remove the sample that was used to send them back in the first place, then Technically, they would never have been able to travel back in time to do that in the first place. Uh, and all just to make part of Siberia American. Uh, I feel like that there's some... They didn't think they thought that through. Yeah, not... They want, but the objective seems to be go back in time in America, go to Siberia, get the stuff, and get it back to America to be found, uh, yeah, in the present. Let's see. John McMillan is now a member of the expedition with the objective of mining and moving the massive cyberite deposits to what will one day be Alaska. He's preparing for the journey into the past. Group 9, prepare now. Donaldson, Williams, McMillan, Sikorsky, Phillips, Grant, go to Eon. So, this is it. I'm going to miss you, John. Maybe you could get transferred. My work's here. I know that. I just wish we'd met some other time. <laughs> oh, maybe we will. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Okay, looks nice. Move right to the Eon. Let's see. Typical select. And left click John, select, right click. Eon is west from base. Okay. Uh, if I just click here, he, he will probably just auto move. Oh, yeah, that looks like it can be scaled down. Can be walked down. Okay. And what is the Eon? That's a lab. 
That's an armory. I guess, oh, that must be it. Okay. Hmm. An interesting premise. I thought they had hidden the Eon somewhere. Well, not in the open. Everybody ready? If you want to quit, quit now. You ain't got the balls, we don't want you going. So what the hell are the women doing here? We Shut may up. have less between our legs than you, but a hell of a lot more between the ears, Sikorsky. This is a no-return ticket. Once you get inside, there is no getting back. And step into One the more end. step, and no more 21st century. It's gotta be a good move. Let's see, somewhere in Siberia, 12 million years BC. Having entered the Eon, John took the irrevocable step into the past. God only knows what expects him there. Go and immediately say what a place. Untouched since the dawn of time, and not a tourist for two million years. This is Lieutenant John McMillan reporting for duty. Alpha, do you read me? Come in, Alpha. This is Lieutenant McMillan. Alpha, do you... Get off the radio now. Thanks for the welcome. Who... You heard me, soldier. Shut up and move. Identify yourself. This is your last warning. If you want to live, get your head down and get out. You want to dive and stay right there. Shit. What is this? Okay. Something has gone wrong immediately. Well, then, yeah, that's... It's... Say that he's down there, he is a part. Look, he is there. Shoot him. Ah, and die. here's the Russians. I'm under fire. And you lost. Okay. And a quick restart. Okay, so the game doesn't play around. And this is easy. Then uh, probably that you're meant to just run over to wherever this thing is. Look, he's there. Shoot or him. not? Okay, uh, up the hill. I'm going down. You would okay. Like you would be running, not just casually walking for your life. Let's see. How can, can I move the camera? What the heck is that? Some sort of ostrich precursor? The signal comes from the hill. Quick, before he moves. So I don't think they're going... I don't feel like they're gonna have a, a bit too much uh, creative freedom with the animals and all that. Let's see. Is there anywhere we can go? The bastard is gone. Identify yourself. Don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. Just tell me your name and what's going on. Corporal Bobby Brandon, sir. What happened? Well, I, I don't know anything, sir. I, I just stepped into the Eon. The next thing I knew, I was here and being shot at. Who were they? Well, I didn't wait to find out. I was just trying to stay alive. You're hurt pretty bad. We gotta get you some treatment. Go ahead. Call 911. We'll get you to Alpha Base. They'll patch you up there. Okay, so now we have two characters. Yeah, that mm. looks like a terror bird. So, yeah. I feel like they're just gonna have random numbers, random animals. Okay, I'm guessing this is a dead end. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, let's do a quick little save. Uh, yep. Well, then. Yeah. When I think about it, this many times I feel like many time travel movies and games are very hit and miss. Listen up. There are three of you in the area. Form a group and head northeast. Repeat, head northeast. We'll try to get you out. What is going on here? Who's attacking us? Stick to the long grass and avoid the roads or you'll be seen. I said, what the hell is going on here? Who are you? I'm Commander Powell. And if you make it to Alpha, you're in deep shit, soldier. I told you not to use the radio. The enemy's tracing your signal. Use this frequency again and you're dead. Okay. Reach the top right corner of the map. Try to join forces with the third man in the area and break through together. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
I yes, said something has the... obviously gone wrong. Yeah, and as I remember, there's a time travel series I actually love, and I'm sad I only made one season of it. Bloody Fox. And, and that that's is... Terra Nova. Terra Nova. Okay, okay. I'm not sure one... I've heard of that. Um, it, it, it was one of the most expensive series of its time, but I only want to make one season because of Fox Fed. Like, I would be can't afford more, but they forgot to realize they had made all the sets Come already. On. And basically, they travel back in time Come on it. in a parallel universe. Come on it. Head north now. We're sending a search party over. Okay, top of the edge of the map. You're still at the third guy. Jesus, help Look, me! He's there. I don't want to Shut die. him! Medic, help! Please help me! Oh, don't listen to them. It's a trap. Continue northeast. I repeat, northeast. You're not sure what you should do. Will you try to make contact using the radio? No. no. Okay. If you believe the second voice, head for the middle of the, the top edge of the map. Okay. Okay. Right. Don't uh, say. They travel back in time in a different era. So when they travel back in time, they don't mess up our own past. Okay. Because I felt like, all right, that's clever. What's your name, soldier? Cirrus Parker, sir. The, the the bastards really dropped us in it, huh? Head northeast. Great grid reference. I don't think so. It's all the info we've got for now, so let's use it. Okay, well, uh, Bobby's dead. <laughs> or at least dying. Okay. Like I said, I can recommend you Terra Nova. For, it is very interesting. And they also it's set in a time period where we know the least amount of dinosaurs and such. Okay, so they, so they have, can play uh, around the most. Yeah, and they do it quite well. Every here. Walk. Stop. Wow. Made it. Is there options for crouching perhaps? Is there is there a tutorial of this? is all of this every, anywhere? He doesn't something? look friendly. We have Americans here. We need help. Let's go, boys. Let's go kick some butt. It's getting hot. As good as done. We've got to keep moving. Fast! Okay, so you can incapacitate enemies and then kill them. So I'm guessing once they are incapacitated, they can be recovered by a uh, yeah, medic or something. Bobby Brandon was killed. Presuming that all of this is permadeath. Let's see, you can. 1050 experience points for each of your characters. Select the character and then select the skill you want to add uh, most experience to. Smaller amount will be added to other skills as well. I didn't see anything of a, a tutorial. Let's see. We have shooting, we have something else, we have repairs. And then science or something. Let, let's. Uh, He's a soldier, so I guess, uh, yeah, Yams makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it is an original idea. Stealing the steel. So, Macmillan has avoided capture by the enemy forces, but he's still in more danger than he knows. And, and the game just crashed. <laughs> okay. Let's see, if it, let's see if it has an autosave or something. Uh, that is not a good idea, and yeah, that's not a good sign. Like, let's see, campaign. Yeah, there is no tutorial. Hmm. Okay, stream it to you again. Campaign. Uh, loads. And yeah, there's only the save remade. Okay, yeah, that is a big ass point against this. With the, that, with the crashing, that is. Yeah, I was very half-half on the voice acting. Yeah, it, it, this, it does seem that his game was released. Oh, oh, 
we do we did save it's I'm thinking um, I can select these it seems so can can I let's see if we do this okay so it it does have an auto save will it crash no nope, did our ancestors get this tooled up their weapons are better than ours. They've got to be from the future, same as us. Probably Russians. Like every country has a time machine these days? You got a better explanation? Whoever they are, they want to stop us. And it won't be hard. You want to be more careful. Lieutenant John McMillan, can you tell me what's going on here? Sure. We've got an order to wait and see what happens. That's all the info I've got. And I don't like it. Hold on. They're trying to get through. Alpha base here, listen up. The enemy are based seven miles north of you, and we are beyond them. This just keeps getting better. Shut up and listen, Parker. Survey the area and contact all other survivors. And then what? I warned you, McMillan. Try to capture an outlying Russian building, consolidate your position, and await further orders. Great idea. We're outgunned, outnumbered. At last, we die heroes. You heard the colonel. He gave an order. We do what the man says. Okay. Capture the Russian depots in the area, wait for further instructions, and join other US soldiers. Yes. And it does look like we took the, ra the right, uh, the right bleh, extraction points, even though there were Russians there. In Allah be praised. Hmm? I cannot believe the Eon works. I thought I was going to die. If we hadn't got here, you would have. The Russians are killing our people. Russians? Don't ask me how they got here. But they're good soldiers with good kit. I owe you my life, Lieutenant. I hope I can repay you. Tell me what you can do, and you can make a start. I am a nuclear physicist. My name is Paul Katam. Great. You were working on the Eon, and you thought it wouldn't work? When you know everything that can go wrong, it takes a lot of courage to get inside. Even scientists need faith now and again. You sure will now. I can see some of you already saw action. I'll have a look at the wound if you remove that filthy rag. What now? Yes? Wait, why are the oh, that, that's... Hmm? There's two big, two big holes next to that. Could be impact sites of uh, small meteorites. Yeah, and what now? Are they, like, almost claw marks? So, yeah, you might be right. Uh, right, sorry, what, Let's what go. You it seems to think. What a mess that is. All our guys and all dead. They've been like this a few days. We gotta keep moving, people. Let's go. It seems Finish, like the, sir. the characters are sort of uh, XCOM-like, or maybe maybe a mixture of what XCOM now? and Fire Emblem, as in that characters can permanently die. But you can also upgrade. Yes, sir. There's no way we're going through without more firepower. Retreat! Okay. Don't Shoot attack him. bunkers. That's still just got Make him him. And we lost the scientist. Can do, sir. My soldiering skill just increased. Okay. So if we're not going down. Oh shit! Yeah, I get. Yeah, I. I get the feeling if we if it wasn't the medic that got got downed, and he's actually bleeding out. It seems. From, I think he just lost some health. See if we can yeah. save him. Yeah, no, none of yes. these people seem to have yes. any medicine skill. Well, that she has. Well, they have yes. a bit, but yes. probably far uh, too late. <laughs> okay, but it is interesting Hostile though. That's... spotted, sir. We're going, sir. That there is a. Uh, We're going, sir. An incapacitation system. Uh, yeah, we should probably avoid that bunker because we already lost one person ah, to it, me. and probably the most important one that we had. <laughs> the premise of this game is interesting. It just depends a bit on. Moving, sir. Yeah. Yeah, but if they if they've been supporting it for 16 years, that at least so proves that now? the developers are uh, can do, well, sir. 
are interested in keeping it running. We're going, sir. Which is not something you can really say about a lot out of uh, Moving. game big game companies these days. I can't move the screen anymore to the Moving. right. Let's have a look down here. Moving. Can't move it any further down. Yes, so we sir. Did... Okay, We're going, nothing... sir. Oh, hello. Eight men. Uh, yeah, let's not kill it, them, sir. or we might delete someone out of history. Or yes. several. Yeah. yeah Actually, this... yeah, if you want ancestry, okay, you sir. kill a lot. Yeah. He doesn't look friendly. Shoot him! Americans, quick! Into the vehicles! Damn! Russian tanks! Kill the driver before he gets in! Make him pay! Enemy and fire. there's another down. I wish you were kidding. I'm on it. Uh, can we take these there ourselves then? Oh. And that was good as done. the driver. Uh, uh, yeah, shit. I very much doubt that Enemy they'll survive fire. this. Yes. Someone's retreat. Shoot here, sir. Yeah, this game is not easy. These vehicles look pretty weird. Okay, can any of you so take control or something? Wow. My Maybe. mechanical yes, skill just got better. Okay, so I'm guessing characters with high mechanical skill will do better in these tanks. Yes. And I'm on it. Can you do anything with this? Or can you just just Stop. you're just going to shoot it? Don't fire at the depot. We want to capture it, not take it out. And yeah, we lost our only engineer uh, slash next, medic, sir? so I don't think we can even capture it. <laughs> okay. It's like it's technically already a mission failure. Yeah. Okay, a bit oversighted that they don't, uh, you know, tell us we already lost. Ready? Or, yeah. Or is there some... Let's see, by class, by skill, we can sort our characters here. Stop, crawl... Oh. This would have been useful to learn earlier with the tall grass. And uh, Bobby wouldn't have gotten shot the bits. Oh. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Um, should we reload and use those damn things? Uh, we are just trying it out. And th this game has potential, so I'm putting it as a, a maybe at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll need to look more into this game. Yeah, so far I can only say restart since, well, we won't really be able to do any progress without anyone taking over the house. Let's see. Restart mission, yes. Hey, how did our ancestors get this tooled up? Their weapons are better. They've got to be from the future. Same as like every... You got there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's give this a try without getting ourselves killed on a checkpoint. We're going, sir. Time to ah! kill. Uh, but yeah, it seems that just from Shit. doing actions, characters will get better with uh, that action. So, technically speaking, if we kill every terror bird that we see, our characters would get better at shooting and such. Possibly, do I wonder? I'm, I'm surprised they they gave us saber tubes, terrible and all that, but they're not doing anything. Jesus! All our guys, David. We got. Okay. Now well, sneak I down did. here. On my way, sir. Really, they wouldn't attack a group of people like that. Sure, but at the same time, right, sir. Moving, sir. You. You would expect them to do something. It says. Why being prehistoric time if you're not gonna have any use of the yes, sir. prehistoric feet? Yeah, we'll just. Well, prob if everything. If all of the uh, fauna around here were to get hostile, yeah, the, our characters would probably get themselves killed real quick. True. Yes? You. Can I assign you a, a number? I cannot, it what seems. Now? 
But yeah, as I said, I don't think the animals yeah. would, in Sir? really the animals would have like, yeah, a group of people. Oh, yeah, enemies, sir. Okay, we do yeah, have an engineer sir. here. And he has build a building, repair a building, pick up a selected material. Okay, I missed them earlier. Yes. Uh, she's going, also sir. an engineer. Yes. And he's uh, a medic. Next, sir? sir? Okay. So all Moving. these guys are soldiers. Okay. So let's see if we can get that driver killed fast this time. Yes, sir. Maybe get the drop on them. Yeah, I don't think you can crawl. And yeah, there's quite tall a lot of tall grass around here. Let's go! It is also lessening our own sight, though, it seems. Let's see. If we go around, will we find a driver on their own? He doesn't look friendly. Time to kill. Mechanic level two. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that was the driver. Emphasis on was. Now there's two soldiers down here. Sir! This game might need a bunch of uh, restarts Shit. to... It's them! They're here! Americans, quick! Into the vehicles! Damn! Russian tanks! Born to kill! Yeah, this game might be the type that would require a bunch of restarting so you uh, can act with pre-knowledge. Stand up, all of you. Moving. And yeah, that These does improve. Look pretty weird. Okay, yes. All... Yes, sir. Oh, oh, they're finishing off the Russian. Okay. For a moment, Moving, I thought they sir. were shooting the base there. Here, sir. No. We're going, sir. Yes. Okay, guessing... sir. Can do. Let's send you away, into sir. that. Yes. Then she can see if she can capture this. Yes, sir. And yes, she's yes. not shooting it, so that helps. Fine, you sir. go heal someone. Yes. Yes. And My he sounds a lot more American now. Yes. Lieutenant McMillan reporting to Alpha. We're now in command of a Russian installation. Where do we go from here, Colonel? Once we establish your exact location, we'll be on our way. Till then, maintain your position and gather deposited supplies. If you're where we think, then you've one more base in the area. Try to capture it. You want to stop talking to that guy, Lieutenant. He has some really bad ideas. Yes. Well, he got us to meet up with these folks. Yes, on it, sir. Uh, let's get. Let's give it a few more minutes. Then we'll call it. Again, this game shows potential, Finished, but it's also rather rough. Like no tutorial. It, it's prop. It's possible that this game originally came out with a uh, manual, uh, which is, uh, yeah, 2005 is still the time that a lot of manuals were used in the box, so, hmm. but still, you'd you'd think they'd add uh, so at least some quick tutorial. Yeah, I, I'm... It confused. I want to expect them to do yeah, the tutorial and some polish and all that. Okay, now we have that firepower that should be able to take out that. that. Okay, focus down the bunker, please. Sir, let's go. Okay. These guys don't look friendly. Yes. What now? And that's him down. Yes. Okay. You see don't if you can me, heal them. Sir. I'm gonna be killed yes. I was born. As good as done. Ready? Fine, Come on, sir. heal that guy. Duck everybody! Ready? Incoming! Who's shooting? And that's the medic down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I probably should have drawn the, the the infantry away from the bunker. So yeah, they're dead again. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the driver out. On it, sir. Wait, he's still alive. He is just wounded. Do we have? A... Yes, sir. It's the Is medic who's down, so we can't do anything. Right. Lieutenant McMillan calling Alpha. 
We captured the second Russian base, awaiting further instructions. Maintain your position and gather as many crates as you can in the northern base. Transport the crates from the eastern base there too. We'll be in touch. What crates? Sir, I'd appreciate it if you could fill me in on I told you to stay off the air, McMillan. You can ask questions when you get here. Your call sign is now Cobra One. Await further instructions and don't contact me. Have you got that? Yes, sir. You better have McMillan. Cobra One out. Okay. Gather as many crates as you can from Northeast Base. And take them Let's to the get Norton. to it. Keep your eyes open, or the only material we'll collect is lead. We're going, sir. Yes. And what have we here? An armory, a basic lab. Here, sir. And, oh, there's a little passage through there. Yeah. Yes. Again, potential, but it's very, very rough. And where the heck are these crates that they're I'm talking here. about? Made it. Let's see. Transport. The heck was. What happened? What are you? Where's Sasha? See you in hell, comrade! Please, don't shoot. I am not soldier. Of course not. You're just taking a vacation. I can explain. Not with a bullet in your head. Time to die, soldier. I am not soldier. I am civilian. Please listen to me. Okay. Uh, let's interrogate. On it, sir. Yes, sir. And she doesn't make me bring him on back. It, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We're going, sir. Yes, sir. On it, sir. Uh, yeah, can you yes, shut sir. up? <laughs> yes, sir. On it, sir. On it, sir. Good work, soldier. I am not soldier. No one's talking to you, Sputnik. I am no Sputnik. I am Mikhail. If you're not a soldier, what are you doing here? I am engineer from Moscow Institute. I, I don't want to be here. I have no choice. Cameron Soyanov says our duty to save resource. Soyanov? I like American. Hamburger, good food. Shut up. Who is Solyanov? Alexei Solyanov, president of Russia. I never heard of him, buddy. He was elected. 2002, you must know. I was there in 2002. Prokhorov was president. Solyanov, president 14 years, but you want Prokhorov? He's Prokhorov. What do you make of it, Lieutenant? Either the guy's full of shit or he's from a different future. Well, how do you make that out, sir? You mean it's already changed? I don't know, and right now, I don't care. We've got here and now to deal with. We'll interrogate the guy later. Lock him in the depot and make sure he doesn't move. Okay, it it, it sounds a bit like it is like the Terra Nova. Yeah, the Terra Nova is a parallel universe they went apart to. Here it's more of they already messing with the past. Hmm. On it, sir. On it, sir. Uh, can you shut it, up, sir. Miss? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is she even doing? Okay, she was leading him to yes. the... There. Okay. Transport, cargo cans, transport oil, everything. Okay. Here, sir. Uh, transfer everything to there. And... Yeah, this this game's definitely came must have come with a manual uh, for you to read, to read through with all of this. But uh, yeah, again potential but rough. So hmm, yeah, not for main weeks. Maybe something as a s occasional thing to peek into. Uh, I'll just do more research. Same as with of orcs and men. Oregon yeah. Trail, we can add to the uh, to the weekend side stuff list. Mm. Okay. But for now, then uh, that was a bit of an odd something Sunday. Uh, yeah, we we can't we can't uh, make certain from the start, or we can't make be certain that every game that we'll cover with this will be good. But yeah, of Orcs and Men is a hard. Uh, of Orcs and Men is leaning very hard to a, a yes. Okami is a plain yes. <laughs> Oregon Trail, like I said, we can stuff an original war. I'll just have to look into more. And I didn't mean to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay then. Well, uh, thank you everyone who may have been watching now or later, and special thanks as always to you, Drake here. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, I was thinking about doing an extra stream on Monday because, well, last Tuesday things just completely failed with Darksiders. What we'll do, actually, uh, what would you want us to do? Extra Darksiders or extra Slam Rancher? I think extra Darksiders would be good for. Darksiders was supposed to be aired last week early. Okay. But yeah, we had some very technical difficulties. Okay, so tomorrow an extra stream of Darksiders to make up for the fact that, well, the first stream where that completely failed. <laughs> Yep. Okay. But until then, thanks again for watching, and well, until then. Be safe, folks.